right, hashtag Robert De Niro. Like we said, he just welcomed his seventh child, number seven, at the age of 79. His oldest child, you want to guess how old his, his oldest kid is? 59. 51. Oh, 51. Close. My yeah, age. Yeah, got it right here. Wow. He, his oldest kid is my age, and... I, I could not imagine having a kid at my age. His oldest Let alone kid, 79. He's old enough to be the baby's grandfather. Oh, yeah. yeah think about in it. some cases, great grandfather. Well, here's the good news. When you're Robert De Niro and you have all the money in the world, you can hire people to uh, bend over, pick up the baby. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> what did you think I was Hire saying? people to bend over. So I thought oh, you, you can do that too? Baby, making a baby rabbit. Well, if you got that kind of money, you can hire people to do all kinds of things. Yeah. But I meant like... I was just thinking at 79, you don't want to be bending over, picking up kids, chasing them around the room. But, you know, he's got to, he'll, I don't know how, I, I have no idea how old the baby mama is. Hmm. If it's the same one of all other seven kids. But I thought yeah, after a it's while. Not, it's not the same one. I'm still trying to look into it, but yeah. it's not the same one. Nick Cannon, let me tell you something. <laughs> Robert De Niro's coming for you, buddy. Challenge accepted. You know what I'm saying? Nick Cannon's got like 41 kids, I think. Yeah. Could be 43. Well, I was just wondering how, you know, you get a certain age, I always say you shoot blanks, right? Right. Yeah, blanks Obviously are just, not. I imagine it's just powder. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> apparently he left one in the chamber. Yeah. yeah. It's like <laughs> an old can of paint that's been in the garage for a long time. It's not even the same color. It's nasty. <laughs> old yeller mess. Old yeller. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so, so we'll have to find out if the, uh, what the deal with the mom is, right? Um, but yeah, like I was saying, if you have Robert De Niro money, none of this matters. Like a, a guy like you or me at 79, I could, no way, no way. No. But I mean, men, I believe, I don't know the facts on this. You know, w women have a, a window of opportunity, right? To have babies. They just stop making the eggs at some point, right? Yep. Men produce sperm as long as you can get it up. Well, that's another question. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, getting it up. Oh, come on, man. At that age? What's one of our sponsors? Blue, Blue Chew. <laughs> nice segue. I'm sure he has all the connections he needs. And all the Blue Chew. To get any yeah. medicine he needs, nannies. So what's another kid? To, I just, I wonder if he's going to be like an everyday dad to it. It. <laughs> the baby. Every maybe, day? Maybe, uh, did, did you ever see uh, Meet the Fockers? Yes. Remember when he had the fake uh, boob like he was going to breastfeed the baby? Yeah. Maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll try and breastfeed his grandchild, you know? Well, I hope he lives to be 130. Well, he said, I've got nipples. Can you milk me? Maybe he'll try and breastfeed his baby. Maybe he'll, what'd you say, live to be what? 130. No way he can see Well, that's another right. thing. Today, with all the modern medicine, people are living longer. Yeah. I mean, people with money and access to good health care can live a very long I mean, time. Look at Magic Johnson. Right. Living He's supposed forever. to die of AIDS a He's long time ago. He's supposed to die when we were in high school, remember? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he scared me. Yeah. What do you think of Robert De Niro, though, just as an actor? Oh, I like him, yeah. Yeah. I think he's or as a, as a celebrity? I, I don't know. As a person? Never been around him. Oh, yeah. So I have no idea. Yeah. Some people, because, uh, you know, what, d he got kind of political there. Started doing a lot of uh, Trump bashing, as a lot of people did. Yeah. Like, he hates Donald Trump. So there's a lot of people on Twitter, if you just look at the whole hashtag and see, there's a lot of like, oh, congratulations, I can't believe it. Oh, this guy, I hope he, you know, there's a lot of, like he basically divided his fan base when he went public with his ah, political beliefs. Do it. But I think he's great. I love, I love uh, really everything he's done. Have you seen The Irishman? Yeah, he's a little gangster. Yes. Yeah. That's, I was watching that again. Um, this past weekend. Great. It's long, but it's great. Um, what's some of your favorite Robert De Niro films? I don't know. Name a couple. Cape Fear. <laughs> That's a good one. Cape yeah, Fear. Crazy. Man. Where he's in the theater just laughing that whole time, smoking a cigar. He's this, it's just him by himself and maybe three other people. He's going, <laughs> <laughs> just being obnoxious. Yeah, and he, 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 and he, he uh, beat up the two guys that were supposed to beat him up. And yeah. He's like, is that you, counselor? <laughs> Could that be you? Yeah, he was scary. Like, he's very scary and uh, creepy in that. So, uh, of course, Goodfellas, one of my favorite. We also had Raging Bull and Raging Bull. You know, Godfather. 
The yep. Godfather. Godfather yeah. of Meet the Fockers. But I actually liked him more than some what, of the What's, it, what's he not been good in? I mean, really, what's the worst Robert De Niro film of all time? <laughs> That's what we should ask people. What's the your least favorite Robert De Niro film? Leave it in the comments section. Oh, Dirty Grandpa. That was a good one. Dirty Grandpa. Yeah. I don't think I saw that one. It's got that young kid in it that uh, um, all the girls like. Zac Efron, yeah. I did not see this one. I did see... Uh, Dirty Grandpa with jo with uh, Johnny Knoxville. Knoxville, yes. But that was a different. I don't think it was Dirty Grandpa. It was something very similar to that. Is that one? Did you throw that up there, Alan? Because people are uh, saying this is his worst one. Um, I think it's kind of in the range of his worst. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now uh, the things you asked about earlier. The only thing I can find is his his twins from a previous relationship mm -hmm. was through in vitro. But they also used a surrogate mother, so I don't know. It doesn't oh. specify if it was her problem or his problem, but um, I wouldn't be surprising if, if that was something that happened this time around because I can't find who the person is. Everything's well. Wrong. He he was in a movie with one of his sons too. Yeah, yeah. Brooklyn, um, Brooklyn something or I can't remember the name. Not Brooklyn Story. I can't remember the name of it. Um, if you know the name of it, just yell it back there in the booth. But I for. Uh, but that was his son. One of his seven kids was in that movie. Good movie. Um, but yeah, so I don't know how many baby mamas he's got. That's the question. Ah. Just curious. You know, you can do what you want these days. You got that kind of money. So I, I don't know. I'm saying congratulations, Robert De Niro. Good job. Yeah, congrats. Thank you for your son. Hey, if you like that, you can watch the whole thing right here. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down here. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.